I had the Father Christmas letters for 1937 and 1938. So to give a quick summary, 1937, Father Christmas has a injury to his hand and turns over responsibilities to the new secretary that he's taken on named Ilbereth, an elf, uh, who provides you know, some vignettes of what happened there in the North Pole, including uh, the misadventures of a polar bear. And in 1938, uh, Father Christmas provides the Tolkien children with some poetry, um, and Ilbereth also uh, chimes in with uh, some verses of his own, and the uh, polar bear also tries his hand or paw at poetry. And one of the things that I really uh, appreciated from reading these letters together was the attention to detail that Tolkien put into the script uh, of the different characters, uh, providing them with a different personality. Um, so Father Christmas has a shakier, more measured handwriting um, and in personality as well. Uh, Ilbreth has a more slanted uh, script, it's more spidery, um, it's a little bit more playful, uh, and the polar bear has a you know, blockier uh, style of writing, uh, almost runic, and he's a little bit more terse, um, a little bit more forceful uh, in his writing, but you have this kind of interplay between the characters, especially between the elf and the polar bear, uh, as they're kind of jabbing at each other playfully uh, in the margins and in the, the, the prose or poetry itself. Um, and that kind of spoke to something larger that I noticed was the, the playfulness that Tolkien is uh, is is treating his mythology with here and it really comes through in the sample of elvish script that uh, Ilbereth provides um, and you have this little line of, of elvish the same elvish that, that appears in, in Lord of the Rings and uh, it's a phonetic spelling of a very merry Christmas to you all so you have these kind of touching of two worlds, you know, Tolkien's Legendarium and the Father Christmas mythology. Um, it reminded me of uh, Tolkien's translation of the Lord's Prayer into Elvish. So in, in both of those cases, you have these two fantastical worlds that are touching and both kind of coming away the richer uh, for the encounter. As for my own Christmas traditions, um, it might seem a little on the nose in this setting, but we always watch the Peter Jackson uh, Lord of the Rings trilogies. Um, and there's something about the themes of hope and light in a time of darkness that just feels like you know, Christmas season is, is the right time to, to watch that and to, to engage with that sort of story. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the Father Christmas letters and I hope you read them again and I hope you read them with the rest of Tolkien's work.